Well, hello there, my friends. Thought I'd do a little update. I have people asking me all the time, how are things coming out there at the altar? Are you still working out there in the wilderness? We are plugging away. We are doing our best. Uh, we are almost done. Well, not. we got to build a roof, but we are done all the walls on our first prayer cabin out here in the woods. Look at this. Isn't this just absolutely beautiful? You can see uh, we're going to have a This is the front door where you walk in and there's a window. We're going to have a high ceiling here. And then right about halfway back, we got this here going across. And then we build a loft that's going to go to the back and actually about another eight feet past the back side because it jets out. This is 90... 9% the work of Mr. Alan Marr and Pastor Mark Eshelman, who have been working so hard. I like to pretend I've helped them, but uh, they've pretty much done most of the work. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is from the side. And you can see, there's the front, there's the back, and you can see how it'll jet out the back. So the loft will actually go quite a bit farther. We'll be able to seat probably about, probably get about 30 people who don't mind being close. Uh, we could have small prayer meetings, you know, have like 30 people on the main floor and maybe 50 kids crammed up top. But uh, it's going to be a wonderful place to seek the Lord. We have not started building the altar yet. Um, we are still working on plans and uh, we're going to have to locate a whole bunch of more timber. I want to show you something cool though that did show up just about a half an hour ago. Uh, some of you know my number is 18. That's my birthday is January 8th, 18. God often speaks to me through the number 18. My life verses are Joshua 18, Daniel 18, 1 Peter 18. I had a prophet uh, who didn't know me at all, didn't know that was my number recently, come and prophesy over me. Hey guy 18. I said, what's that? He said, go up to the mountains and get me timber and build me a house. Uh, and so uh, that's uh, 180 significant. Well, I had a guy recently say, I felt the Lord told me to donate some power poles. Well, I didn't know they weren't just power poles. They're the transmission ones. They're the 70 footers. Huge, huge power poles that we could cut up and make some beautiful timbers for our altar that we're building. And uh, not only did he donate the power poles, he even paid for the trucking to get them to me. Look at this, they just showed up an hour ago. Those are some big, big power poles. I wanna show them to you. Anyways, I asked the guy, I said, wow, that's wonderful. Yes, we definitely take them. I mean, the price of lumber is so expensive right now. I said, how many do you have? He said, I got 18. <laughs> I said, well, that's the Lord. And that's not even the biggest one. They're just humongous monster logs. And so, anyways, wanted to show that to you. Isn't that awesome? How wonderful is it uh, just to be able to partner with other like-minded kingdom people to build a place out in the wilderness. People like Alan Moore, people like Mark Eshelman, people who are just like all these intercessors who come out and are running with us. Um, it's such an honor to be able to run with people who are hungry for the kingdom and uh, want to build something for the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that in the day of battle, God's people will offer themselves freely. And uh, it's just, uh, it's fun to be running with a whole bunch of people who are just hungry for his presence, willing to pay the price and uh, working together to build something for the Lord Jesus Christ. Isn't this wonderful? Can't wait till we build this place. Uh, I will keep you posted as we, uh, as we keep going from here, but uh, look at that. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom in, but a truck has a big arm. Gonna start dropping our poles. Anyway, just wanted to show you that.